This is Hunter Pruitt, otherwise known as the RV Hunter, down here at our McLean's RV location in Sanger, Texas. And I have my very good friend, Cody Sears, here from Winnebago, because that's one of the benefits of our virtual RV show. Not only are we bringing you the best prices on our best campers, and the best selection of inventory right now before the industry picks up through our summer months, but also we're bringing our manufacturer reps not only to help be a resource for you in your search, but they're even teaching me something new. And we're in front with Cody, and this is an 1800BH micro yeah. mini. Right? Yeah, one of our more popular uh, floor plans right here. Great entry level uh, coach for, for folks who are gonna go camping and bring some little kids with them. Um, pretty aggressive in terms of our weight and length, but lots of sleeping space and a little camper. And in terms of the weight specs, kind of go through that RV Hunter scouting report for you. Uh, right at 3,800 pounds of a dry weight, 5,000 pounds of gross weight. So really SUV and a half ton towable, very easy for almost everybody. Um, a really accessible camper in that towing side of things. But you're only talking about 22 feet overall length, 21 feet, 11 inches. And so getting to all those good state and national parks, it's really accessible. But we're gonna kind of go through the bones of the camper first, going around the outside, before giving you a glimpse of the inside floor plan, because hopefully y'all are gonna love it. Um, but and again, in terms of having a manufacturer up here, not only being a resource for y'all, but Cody, you're teaching me something new. Yep. I mean, molded fiberglass front cap is a great design feature, but Cody's telling me this is actually isn't fiberglass. So you can tell a little bit. About yeah, yeah, so something a little bit different that we use. This is actually a TPO cap up front, which it's a little bit lighter weight than fiberglass. Still holds up really well to rocks and Debris as you're towing it down the road, you're not going to get a lot of nicks in that. Um, but again, lighter weight, lighter cost, so we're saving the customer a little bit there. Um, same warranties as a fiberglass cap. And in terms of rock, they also do this nice rock guard um, in the front. As we conclude, like kind of the front uh, portion, uh, despite being this uh, really easy to manage, it could have a manual tongue jack on it. It'd be nothing for you to lift it up and down. But Winnebago bring in the added convenience of an electric tongue jack. Oversized 30 pound propane tanks because the whole name of the game when you're out camping is to conserve your propane. You don't even need to conserve when you got tanks this size. But these are all sitting on top of this Norco ball frame. And Cody, do you want to talk a little bit about the huck bolted aspect and that compared to a welded frame? Absolutely. So there's, there's a few things we do with our frame that's different. Um, as we mentioned, it's a Norco frame. Majority of the industry uses Lippert. That's a hand welded frame. Uh, with our stuff here, you're actually getting a huck bolted frame, uh, quite a bit stronger, um, applied with lots of torque pressure, um, all laser aligned outriggers with this right here. So uh, very automated, you're gonna get the same frame build out every time. Uh, additionally, we actually build our A-frame through the point of the first huck bolt. A lot of times this A-frame part of the coach comes to the front of the trailer and ends there. You get a little bit more reinforcement by running it through to the point of the first huck bolt because of course this is where a lot of that, um, you know, play is as you're towing it down the road is at the front of the camper so much more stable much more smooth ride with that extended a-frame and, and also you don't notice till you're in these every day but because of that hug bolted frame it does sit more level has a better life expectancy and in the back of your mind as the consumer you don't have to worry about somebody on the assembly line having a bad day as a welder um, it's not reliant on uh, quality welds that hug bolted frame is going to stay a lot more consistent as cody was talking um, but up at this front we have a, a sticker um, for the go power solar and Cody, this is fully equipped, right? We got solar ready to yeah, hit the yeah. road? Yeah, so on this particular model right here, this is a 22. Uh, this is a 190 watt solar panel that comes standard. You do have room on top to upgrade if you wanted to add another. And then you also have this little solar prep on the side here for a good pack and play solar uh, panel as well. So uh, definitely good to upgrade. There's plenty of room for, for more solar on this guy. Well, I love how y'all made it expandable and kind of versatile for people's needs because the whole name of the game also when you're camping is to not be in direct sun. Um, but uh, you don't get to fully utilize some of the solar prep uh, and the solar panel on the roof if you're parked in the shade. But having this one on the side, not very many people are doing that now. Um, they're mainly just making the solar prep on the roof. So you can actually bring out a solar uh, panel, put it out in direct sun while the camper's still in the shade, still charging those batteries. But as we're at the front here, this nice slam latch, I mean, that's something that Winnebago's been doing for a while, but you don't see it across the industry. Magnetic hold and a much thicker baggage door if you're looking at other fiberglass models um, to really keep this, because this trailer's true four seasons rated full climate right, package everything right, yeah. on it um, the front uh, electric jacks we'll show you the switches on the other side but electric jacks i usually talk my customers out of it because it's kind of a gimmick most of them just go down in tandem fronts together rears together if you're on level ground there's a clutching mechanism one's going to touch while the other one keeps going so you're never firmly planted but these winnebago jacks are a little bit different in that they are actually controlled individually all four um, and so you can actually make the camper a lot more stable yep in terms of these tires, tell us a little bit about that, Cody. Yeah, so, uh, I mean, I've been in this industry for a while. I think, Hunter, you've seen a lot of travel trailers out there that are 6,000, 7,000 pounds, and they'll use 14-inch 
regular old tires. And usually um, China bombs. And usually <laughs> China bombs. Uh, these right here, Goodyear Wrangler off-road tires and 15 inch tires on something that's just 22 feet. Uh, and not only that, but we use a torsion axle on these as well. So it's gonna give you the smoothest ride on both paved and non-paved roads. Um, you know, a lot of folks, when they look at these, it looks overbuilt to the size of the camper, but at Winnebago, we believe that's the standard. We wanna give you the smoothest ride possible when you're towing something even this small. And even with the good years, they, compared to China bombs, you're not gonna have that fear in the back of your mind of the blowout. Um, but still giving you a camper that can withstand almost anything. You do have these aluminum wheel wells down there as well. Usually on other campers, if you have a blowout here, it is destroying the whole underbelly, doing a ton of damage. These aluminum wheel wells are gonna keep that from happening. There's also a warranty on these tires too, right? Cody? There is, yeah, and, and, and you kind of alluded to it already, but look at the clearance between the tire and the wheel well itself, right? Lots more room there, lots, lots more room for give, um, just a much more comfortable ride. And then in terms of the, the uh, warranties that you're gonna see on these, you know, holistically with these, you're gonna have a one year uh, bumper to bumper on the trailer, you're gonna have a three year limited structural. Um, and then of course those tires are a part of that, that one year tire or one year uh, whole unit warranty. Absolutely. Now we had plenty of storage up front for any of your camping accessories, but something that's so neat about this bunk model that we'll look at whenever we go inside more in detail, this just flips up real easy. And this really nice, it's a skate hatch. Not only is it more safe, for kids, God forbid, if there is a fire on the outside, escaping right out the back, you don't have to lose sleep at night worrying about that. But if you wanted to bring along big totes, coolers, uh, kids' bikes, things like that, um, you have plenty of space back here. But if you have adult bikes, something that's really unique about the Winnebago's that you really don't see in this size and segment is actually a rear receiver hitch here. Um, that's actually rated for uh, 3,500 pounds, right? Uh, no, the receiver hitch is... 1,500. Yeah. 1,500 pounds, 150 pound hitch weight on yep, that one. Exactly. There. Then outside shower, cable connections on the outside. And, and cause we got a ladder back here. Yeah, all, yeah. Also. All of them fully walkable in the micro mini segments. So that ladder there for easy roof access with that solar panel. Um, obviously we wanna make sure we're taking care of our roofs and Absolutely. watching those caulk lines and things. So making it easily accessible for you to maintain that roof over time. And in terms of the look of the camera, it, it's just sharp. I mean, when you see the flying W up top, I mean, Winnebago synonymous with camping, but they're also doing small touches that just add to the aesthetic more than anything. Um, and also lifespan, these LED lights are really sharp, but also you, you notice the shine and gleam on a, a Winnebago because of this uh, Ultralux uh, fiberglass. And talk a little bit about that, Cody, in terms of the, the coating. Yeah, well, you, you mentioned one thing I'd like to touch on too. We were mentioning warranties earlier. We have a lifetime warranty on our LED lights, yeah. which is really, really great. Um, so a huge feature there to be able to pitch. Um, as far as our sidewall construction goes, yeah, we, we use um, Asdel to back all of our fiberglass. So that's a huge feature right there. Non-moisture absorbent, 99% um, effective against DLAM per the manufacturer of Asdel. We've seen, you know, since making the switch to them from Luon, we, we've seen our warranty dollars go down quite a bit. So customers really appreciate um, the quality that you get with Asdel. Absolutely. And um, the uh, backer locations outside here in terms of what you're adding in terms of outside uh, usability, you have a 13 foot awning on a 22 foot camper. Mm -hmm. uh, pretty awesome outside entertaining space. But these backer locations are if you wanted to add a TV, they, they run EGS steel backers back behind these walls so that you actually have better screw retention. There is a black tank flush on this camper. Don't buy one without it, otherwise it'll always smell. There'll always be residual in the black tank, but that'll flush it all out. There is another place over here to actually fill up the fresh tank. A gravity filler if you didn't want to feed the hose all the way to the other side and a really conveniently placed spray port uh, to hose off boots the steps before um, you go on inside and then your six gallon quick recovery water heater that's going to refill every 20 minutes about 17.8 gallons per hour um, but that's pretty much the whole outside and the bones of the camper that's some, a nice oversized grab handle instead of the the tiny one up along the side and then aluminum steps instead of the steel ones that bind and chuck these are very easy to hold up inside very lightweight but still very minimal bounce as we go ahead and go on inside so here in this camp you're going to notice that the bed being oriented this way just really allows you to have so much usable space in this uh, small footprint great storage up overhead and winnebago's cabinetry with these uh, internal hinges just very solid do a good job of holding themselves open. Tons of little LED lights through here. 
an exit window up front, but you're able to get some good cross ventilation. The amount of windows also that they crammed in a fairly small space can allow a lot of natural light in. In terms of allowing other things from the outside, anything that you have underneath in your storage compartment, they gave you this handy little door to get up underneath there. And then as we enter on in, you notice this kitchen, substantial counter space. Again, for a sub 22 footer, you, you have this deep stainless steel sink that is undermounted, heat wrapped laminate that the T-piece molding's not gonna pop off of, a glass cover on a three burner cooktop. Usually this size and segment, you're only gonna get a two burner cooktop. And usually on all campers, you're gonna get an oven. But Winnebago have been doing this longer than anybody else. They know that few people use their oven because half your biscuits are gonna turn out runny while the other half are burnt to a crisp. Most people use it for storage anyways. So why not make that storage a little bit more capable by giving you this big pull-out drawer. Your fuse panel is actually hidden, so it's not an eyesore there. Convenient to get to, and really this whole camper is convenient because you don't have a slide out. You pull over at a Walmart parking lot, everything is accessible from inside here. But you're asking, hey, well, Hunter, I still like to cook biscuits. Where am I going to do that? You get a convection microwave on this model. Really nice up top there. They're going to show you the reason why you watch videos instead of going online to look at pictures. This is we open up every cabinet. Nice little sponge holder there deep drawers all the way down access something else I really like that Winnebago does is makes all the plumbing and lines actually accessible so you can do your own maintenance winterization all those things yeah and all the all the plex piping that we have in here does have a lifetime warranty as well so it's yeah. a really nice feature so any of those uh, plumbing materials that are wrapped in that, that plex um, is going to be covered for the lifetime of the unit does have this secret little sink cover and a good size TV, again, this camper is really for those that enjoy the essence of camping. The TV is if you're trapped inside on a rainy day, you should be going to get disconnected from the TV. But in certain terms of still staying connected, your phone does have wireless charging here. A little pit flip up countertop to give you even more counter space. Because really, this amount of prep space on a 22 footer is hard to come by. But as we go back to this portion of the camper, I do want to point out this awesome fridge. It is a 12 volt fridge. So you actually can put a full-size jug of milk in there. What a concept. It is going to run off the solar, or excuse me, it's going to run off the battery that is going to stay trickle charged from the solar. Um, but while you're going down the road, instead of leaving your propane tanks on like older models that you might still be comparing, this, uh, the battery will keep the fridge running while you're going down the road. Substantial storage right here with a removable shelf. If the kids have foldables, they can go right inside, but if they need to hang stuff up, right up top. And same thing down below. One other thing I'll note uh, on, on this unit here, you're going to get a JBL sound system, Absolutely. which is great. Uh, if you kind of take a look at that head unit there, um, it's a name brand mm. speaker. You know, a lot of folks, they, they use some cheap knockoff brands, Jensen, Furion. Uh, JBL is something you'd go to, you know, any department store and buy. Mm -hmm. Really, really good sound system. I waited nine months to get a JBL sound bar in my house. Um, they're phenomenal sound. And, and really when you're out there entertaining, because this has got an inside and outside speaker, right, 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 Cody, all of them JBL. And so when you're actually outside entertaining, enjoying the great outdoors, having some good tunes is really nice also. You notice all the overhead cabinets as we go across, your GE um, thermostat, because this AC here is actually fully ducted throughout the camper. A lot of campers in the size and segment you gotta be nervous about, and most don't know, but that the attic space, it's not even ducted. It has to cool the whole attic before it starts cooling down here, but there's actually forced directed air to make sure that this camper's staying cool even on the hottest days. And we go on back to the bathroom. For a camper, there's only 22 feet. I'm six foot even, and you have a sizable shower in here. The nice shower screen, again, has a squeegee on the back side, not as restrictive as glass. And then, I'm not Matt's RV reviews, I don't talk about the perfect pooping position, but this is pretty perfect. I don't want to give you that visual, but also some of the neat that Winnebago does is give you these towel holders. Instead of you having to go right off the bat to a brand new camper and start hanging command strips to the wall, having everything you need to actually enjoy the space already included. Vent fans both here and then in the central area. So you can actually, if you're chasing 70 degrees, get some good air circulation. And also obviously for smells, both while cooking and in the bathroom. Now this top bunk up top here, a 250 pound weight limit is pretty substantial. The nicer teddy bear bunks. And then this one, unfortunately, if you have it lifted up, just realize the pin is on the other side. And so in order for it to be down, we'd have to, we'll do a little B-roll of it at the very end, but still accessible to the storage on the inside as well. But this is a phenomenal camper for a family of four. 
Now, could, do you want to show off this Dream Dinette for us? Yeah, yeah, absolutely. So um, the nice thing here, not only do you have the two bunks in the back, but this does function as an additional sleeping area. Basically, these cushions are going to roll right over the top as we drop this. So I'm going to pull, sorry, yeah. on the back side. Just stand on one foot. I think it actually is released. And we should is be it? Able to okay, press. there we go. Yep. Straight down. And again, for the visual, being six foot even, you could comfortably sleep here, even if you lay like a mummy. And most don't. But then the Winnebago upholstery, it is a really nice high traction vinyl. This isn't getting tore up over time. But the actual dinette, when you're sitting at it, this lifts up so easy because of that dream dinette function. But look, not only do you have room for dessert, but you're not knocking your knees if you're really long legged. Uh, no difficult pedestals. There's no big lifting, ripping the pedestal out from the floor. And the subfloor, you got 5 8 inch tongue and groove plywood. The subfloor, is, it's solid. And there is also additional storage underneath these as well. Just really smart use of that space. One last thing I'll note too, uh, you know, as we've, we've gone through all this, we've talked about four season camper. O on something as small, very rare, you're gonna find 12 volt heat pads on your holding tanks. You're Absolutely. gonna have that on your black, gray, and fresh water tanks and all micro minis, including this floor plan here. And the few that actually have 12 volt heating pads also, it's usually just on the fresh tank too. Right, exactly. Um, they don't do them on all three. And, and while it's less likely for your black tank to freeze up, it's still important to keep it from freezing. And then your gray tank, for that matter. You don't want any of those things uh, cracking. It can be a real uh, crappy situation, pun intended. <laughs> uh, but having all, you also have USB ports conveniently located throughout the coach. All those are actually inverted. You have, they will run off of just 12 volt power. And so if you are trying to disconnect and boondock, then watch our uh, flex video, uh, because then you can really boondock. You can go five days off grid with That's that right. one, right, Cody? Um, but just in the standard micro mini line, this is still really well equipped. For those of you who aren't doing the extreme weeks of uh, disconnecting, but may maybe just chasing 70 degree, and you don't need to run the AC, you don't necessarily need the Tinkles water heater, all those things that you, you gain from the flex line. But if you haven't tuned into that, please do watch our flex video. It's awesome learning about a rig that you can disappear in, but this is still a very well equipped rig. Really hope that you've liked this video of the 1800 uh, BH Micro Mini. This is one of our last 2022s and it sold over this virtual RV show actually, but there's still several across the company. Please tune in because the discounts that we're giving right now, the best prices you'll see all year. We have the best selection of RVs right now. And it's also the best camping season. Get out there in the great outdoors so you can actually enjoy a lot of the 12 volt systems before you're having to crank on those ACs. Um, but thank you all again for tuning in. Cody, thank you so much for yeah. being here with us. You can be here at all five of our locations throughout the week. So drop in, come see us in person, and let us know what else you'd like to see. But regardless, stay tuned into the virtual RV show and stay happy camping.